Hello, and welcome to the Once Upon a Corgi podcast. We are a crafty puppy intro to podcast coming to you from Southern Connecticut. I am your human host, Gabby. You can find me everywhere online as Gabigales and all my hand eyed yarn at Once Upon a Corgi and Once Upon a Corgi.com. Thank you so much to returning viewers for coming back, and hello and welcome to all new viewers. Thank you so much for checking us out. So, I have a little interruption via Gabby. Um, I was reached out by the Anna Louise jewelry company based out of Brooklyn, New York to do a little review for them. So I'm going to insert that here. Uh, apologize if I'm super awkward. I've never done anything like this before, but I really like their style. I really like their brand and I really like what they kind of stand for as a company with sustainability and ethically sourcing their jewelry bits. Cause I know that rare jewels are not the most ethically sourced. That was a terrible sentence. Okay. Gabby, of the review. Go. So recently on my vlogmas I did, oh no, did it not go in? It didn't go in. Okay, so I tried to record this and then I couldn't because vlogmas. Um, editing nonsense. Recently I have been uh, approached by Anna Luisa, which is a jewelry company based out of Brooklyn. I've got all my notes over here, so if I keep glancing that way, that's what that is. And they asked if I would like to do a review kind of thing of their jewelry and I don't wear a ton of jewelry uh, usually just my ring or the bracelet that Jake got me for our anniversary but um, I they sent me a little bit more information about their company and I thought it was a really good company you know what they stand for I know a lot of us are really into sustainability and recycling and just sort of making sure that what we're using and wearing is from ethically sourced places and they have definitely shown that they are one of those. They use recycled gold in all of their jewelry. They have sent me a couple pieces that I've been wearing throughout Vlogmas. I have on their Pisces hoop earrings and they do have all of the horoscopes on them and I have relatively sensitive ears and they have not affected them at all. They work with my hair. I have showered with them on and I think they're just the cutest little things. And they have also sent me the necklace, which is this gorgeous little honeycomb pattern. And I used to be super big into wearing necklaces. Uh, I stopped and I started wearing shawls, but I just think this is the cutest thing and it's definitely going to get me back into wearing more jewelry. I think that's the one thing that's missing in my wardrobe. Audrey, stop being weird. So yeah, if you are looking for a little treat yourself and you're technically not allowed to buy yarn yet because you haven't really hit that, you know, de-stashing goal that you set for yourself, there is a link in the description. They're having a promotion for 20% off if you use the link below. Again, this is the first time I'm doing this. Such a cute little treat yourself uh, jewelry line or gifts. I did think about getting some stuff for my mom from here. I call it her fancy jewelry, like 24 karat gold earrings and stuff because she's got really sensitive ears. So I have looked at them for some Christmas presents for Mama Gergs. So I just want to say thank you to Andrea for reaching out. So yeah, that's AnnaLuisa.com slash Once Upon a Corgi. The link is down below and thank you so much. Apologies if my voice is a little off. I think I'm getting sick. I can't tell. My nose is starting to run more than usual. I'm hoping it's just because my apartment is kind of cold right now. Do we have any announcements? Pop. Audrey is sleeping on the bed next to me. Iron is sleeping under the bed because he had a very active day yesterday. The only announcement I have is I will be at Nitty City tomorrow, Saturday, December 21st for my trunk show this weekend. The trunk show is Saturday and Sunday, but I will be there in person on Saturday. So if you are in the New York City area, please do stop in, say hello and squish some yarn. And I think that's it for announcements. So let's get into the crafting with what I am wearing. I am wearing my Baudelaire crop top by Ellie of Skenanigans Designs in my hand dyed yarn in the colorway Hearth and Ravishing. And I'm wearing my Betty dress out of 100% cotton floral on black. Is anyone surprised? No. I have handmade socks on, hand knit socks on, but they're covered in dog hair. So I'm not going to show you that because that's gross. I have a pretty light episode this week because Vlogmas is going on. I've only been working on a couple projects and mostly vlogging things as Vlogmas does. But I have two finished objects for you. 
The first is, and I'm so excited, my cow and my cowl. This is a cowl design by Kristen of Vullenvine. She designed this using my hand dyed yarns. Uh, so I knit up also in my yarns in the Never Trust a Prince colorway on my penny and fig lace base that I held double. And you guys, I'm dying. It's so soft and pretty and comfy. And I've got these tiny little antique copper beads in there. I'm also in my computer chair today, so I keep trying to like spin around. Usually I'm in my sewing chair, but I thought I would give this a whirl. Get it? So this is done. I knit this on a size US 6 needle um, and basically followed the directions. The only change I did was I did seven, no, I did the eight repeats and then I was gonna run out of yarn because these are a plumper base. So there's only 383 yards per skein with the penny. So instead of doing what she called for in the pattern, I basically just did like half a round less and made the ribbing on top a little bit shorter. If I were to knit this again in the penny base, I think I would just knock off some of the bottom rib some of the bottom ribbing. That's basically it. I really like the way it turned out. I love this color. It's so deep and moody and just everything that I want right now. So this is finished object number one. And she has released the pattern. I'll link it in the show notes. And I do have kits up in the shop, but nothing's going to be dyed or sent out until the new year. So if you want one, you can have one, just not until 2020. Right, Pup? Are you so tired? Finished object number two. Let me just swivel. Swivel. Is spinning. I have finished all of my Illyrian wings. <sighs> Be still, my beating heart. So this is a fiber bump from Classy Squid Fiber Co. It is actually four of those bumps. She, they come in two ounce bumps. Can I say bumps anymore? And I have spun them all and done a traditional three ply for, I would say, 95% of this. There's a small uh, bit of this that is a chain ply because one of my bobbins had way more singles on it than the others. So I'm so excited. I got a really good amount. I had to do it in two sections because I spun this on my electric eel nano wheel and the bobbins are only two ounces. And I had a total of eight ounces. Did I? Yes. No. Six ounces? I had six ounces. Had to split it up into two skeins, which is totally fine. Uh, they look pretty even in color, so I'm not going to alternate them. And I got, um, where is it? 433 yards in the first skein and 275 yards in the second skein. They look to be about a heavy fingering, maybe sport weight. It probably dips into DK weight at some points, but I'm going to treat it like a sport weight. Oh, I just can't get over these colors. It's just little pops of orange and blue and yellow and the Stellina. Oh, I can't, can't handle it. And this is going to be my wedding card again, as I said a thousand times. Can I skein this up though? No. Yes, so this is going to be my wedding cardigan. I don't have a pattern picked out. I listed a bunch last week and I think I've narrowed it down to like three out of that list. So I'm going to swatch and whichever one is closest to that swatch, I think is what I'm gonna do and then probably change my mind as I do. Um, yeah, I'm giving myself 70 days to knit the cardigan. So that means I have 14 days to swatch and decide. It's going to be a cropped um, cardigan with long sleeves to wear for like the after party and transport and if I get cold at the wedding, which is 84 days away. So I have time. I am so excited to knit with this. I loved spinning this. If you get a chance to spin on Classy Squid, I would highly recommend it. Her colors are gorgeous. Her themes are beautiful. I just can't, she is a sweetheart. I just can't say enough good things about her. So yeah, that is my spinning finished object. I'm really sad that all the spinning of these are over, but I'm really excited to knit this and then live in it forever. I'm just gonna put that back in my sash. So as I said, I have only been working on my advent things. Yeah, so not a ton of progress has been made on anything else I need to get done. 
I have started a new sock. So I'm doing the Katrinkles Advent socks out of my Game of Thrones Advent that my friend Lauren and I did for each other. And this is the Dragon Eggs colorway. I think I'm on day 13 or 14. I'm on day 13. So I'm only seven days behind. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, we are sewing on Katrinkles little Advent buttons to these guys and they're adorable and super fast. I just haven't had the chance to actually knit on them. I'm using a size two high high sharp interchangeable needle to knit these and the uh, recipe for these are on Katrinkles website when you buy the tiny sock blocker and the buttons. And I'll try to remember to link to that too. So not a lot to say about that. It's in my tiny matter root bag. It does not uh, give me any sock mojo, but I do need to cast some socks on very soon. So maybe real size socks will give me sock mojo. What I am excited to be working on is my advent shady side out of my Court of Thorns and Roses advent calendar, which is stealing my heart away. I have separated for the sleeves. I have finished the body. I've tried on the body and it's a good length. I kind of, uh, I'm a little hesitant that I should have done 12 stripes on the body, but I think because the mohair is by itself, it's going to grow longer than I anticipate. So I, I did 11 stripes on the body and now I'm onto the sleeves, which if I just make the sleeve cuffs shorter than what I would usually do, I think I can get, I think I can get all 13 stripes onto the sleeves. We'll see. Um, there are so many balls of yarn attached to this right now, so it is a little cracker. Yeah, here we go. So I am finishing up um, on my right side sleeve. I'm almost caught up. This is yesterday's colorway inside of a jewel box, referring to the Autumn Court from A Court of Mist and Fury. No, A Court of Wings and Ruin. Sorry, Mist and Fury is my favorite. Um, and I have, I'm two stripes behind on the left sleeve. So I'm going to finish up the left sleeve stripes today and then wind up today's mini and put that in. You know how rambunctious I get on Fridays. I have big plans. So I'm hopefully going to catch up on this tonight. My plan is to use the full skein um, for the collar and the ribbing on the bottom. I might, if I don't have enough space length. If I don't have enough length on the arms to do all the minis, I may split up like day 23 and day 24 as the sleeve cuffs. I don't mind if they don't match. I would just rather have the neckline and I'm going to do the split hem, have those all be one color because that's, the collar's going to need more than 10 grams of a mini and I don't think a mini can do a split hem very easily. So I'd rather have those come out of the full skein, which is fine. I have no plans for that. And I can always dye more if I need it for something else. Ugh, I just can't. So this is the Shady Side Pullover by Samantha Guerin Designs. I've knit it out of um, like the way the directions were before. And my friend and I are knitting Advent ones together. And I love it so much. She's doing hers out of Stress Knits Advent Calendar and has like a light gray mohair as her stripes. And it is so cute i'm gonna it's so cute oh my goodness i can't handle it so yeah i am using uh size six needles and i have i'm doing magic loop concurrently for the sleeves to make sure that i catch up and i would like this done for new year's so we'll see if that happens i'm not going to go through all the colorway names because we'll be here forever and then i'll get really excited about something and get sidetracked so this has been mo my main knitting, basically, every chance I get. And it is, I've transferred it to my Mataroo bag because I finished my cowl. Oh, I look, I match. Ha ha! I didn't plan that, I swear. It's like I've had too much coffee and not enough coffee. At the same time. Is that it? And that's what I've been working on. That's it. This might be like a 10 minute episode. Yeah, basically, this is gonna be like a 10 minute episode. Yeah, that's all I've been crafting. It has been an advent heavy month, but I really like that about December and I don't do a lot of gift knitting, so it's just not my style. 
So I guess what I have left is crafting goals, which I have a lot. I took next week off for Christmas, so I'm going to have a vacation between the all the holiday madness. And I have, um, so I have a lot of sewing plans I really want to do per usual. Every time I have a vacation, all I want to do is sew. And then all I do is not sew. I would like to reorganize my sewing area now that it is a disaster. And I just have, uh, it's going to be a lot of wedding prep. Uh, I'm going to make the capes. I'm going to, I have to sew my veil together. It's all basted on, into a veil. I just have to actually sew it and secure it down. My hair trial is on the 7th of January, so I need it done before then. That way we can actually use it in the hair trial. I would like to be ready to cast off my sweater within the, before the next podcast. If I can have it cast off, that would be great because I really want to work on my fingerless mitts and I need to knit some socks for Jake, which might be my Christmas Eve cast on. We'll see if he notices how large socks, how large of socks, how big the socks are that I'm going to be knitting on. I kind of want to do a cable sock for him. So I've been putzing around some sock patterns in um, the books I have and what, what's in my uh, Ravelry library. So we'll see on each side. It's so weird trying to podcast during Vlogmas because I'm already talking to the camera all the time and I feel like I have nothing to share. Uh, the one like frivolous craft I really want to do is, oh, so I got all of this lace from my grandmother's house when we started cleaning out her basement. So my plan is not this one. Is it this one? Is it that one? Where is it? that one it might be this one I have like one two three four five six seven eight nine nine to ten of these little bolts of lace from my grandmother's house and I have this hoop skirt that is just polyester plain boring I use it for the SEA kind of thing so my plan is to take some of this lace probably some of this, I have a ton of this. And I'm going to replace this, I don't know how to hold this, this edge frill here. I think I'm going to um, either pink it off or just tack it up. I'm, and I wanna attach the lace to it just to give it that little extra uh, ladiness to it. I know it's just, <laughs> it's so dumb. And it's never going to be seen by anybody ever, but I just think it's going to be super cute and just sort of zhuzh up my hoop skirt, which is obviously one of my priorities this year is zhuzhing my hoop skirt. Right, Audrey? I do really want to make a pair of Victorian combinations at, because I have all of this lace and it's a lot of white lace and I don't know what to do with it. So if I just start making uh, fancy undergarments for historical garb that I clearly wear all the time. I think it'll be put to good use. There's a, a couple uh, black lace trims and um, colored beaded stuff and those ones look really nice but I don't know what to do with those yet. So I haven't figured out how to organize these at all. I've just gone through, washed them, bolted them. Oh I have to make banners. That's what I'll do too. I found these delightful things in grandma's basement. They are holiday lace. So it is nine, twelve uh, ornament patterns using lace for a fan, a bow, a cat, a little boot. So cute. And then Victorian fancies, which make a sleeping mask, a ruffled tray, a lace handkerchief, a slipper. Oh man. Uh, so I don't know, I just, I don't know what I'm going to make, but I love it so much. And I just want to make so many tiny, like Victorian things that I have no space for and no, no need to make, but I just think they're so cute. I do want to experiment with, I think most of these are like polyester, maybe cotton, um, lace is pieces of lace, lace trims. There it is. So I kind of want to experiment with dyeing some of them and see what happens. That way I don't have a very bridal Victorian fancy collection. 
So yeah, that's what I've been crafting. That's what I've been on. That is what has been on my mind for crafting. There's a couple other things I want to make before the wedding. Um, so I'm hoping to get those cast on this week too. They are going to be pretty quick. One's a cowl. No, two's a cowl. Two cowls, a pair of socks, my mitts, and a cardigan. That's it. That's only like 10 things. It's fine. It's fine. So uh, with that, let's get into shop update and beyond crafting. If you're not here for any of those, thank you so much for watching. If you are, let us continue. I need coffee first. So there is no shop update this week because we are going to the trunk show on Saturday. I am hoping to, or I'm going to be shipping out all of the orders on Monday. Uh, and that will be the last shipment going out for 2020. But January 1st, we will have an update. Uh, I'm going to do it at, I think, 5 p.m. because it is January 1st. Let everybody sleep in. Slash, it won't be too late for other time zones, I think, at that point. For the first group of A Court of Thorns and Roses advent calendar. So we are going to release days 1 through 8 and 25 on January 1st. It will... They will be for pre-orders on Penny, Isaac, and Fig Lace. And those are the only bases they will be on at this moment. So um, please don't ask about other bases. It's just going to be those three. Some may become regular colorways. I don't know which ones yet. I'll let you know when I know kind of thing. So pre-orders are going to go up for two weeks. After two weeks, I will close the listing and then start dyeing everything and hopefully get them shipped out within two to three more weeks. So by the time you order it and get the yarn, it should be about a month. Um, I have a blog post on the website and I did send out a newsletter with all of the information, the colorway names, the advent days, the dates for the full year. So we have book one coming out January 1st, book two coming out March 27th, and book three coming out August 1st. Right? Yeah. So uh, it's not totally split up evenly in the year just because we are, you know, getting married in March and we're going to SSK again in July. So that bumped around my summer schedule and we don't want to try and dye it too close to any other advent times. So yeah, that's shop update stuff. Uh, there's stuff, there is stuff in the shop. The shop will be open over the holidays. I just won't be shipping anything um, past December 23rd until we get into the new year. So yeah, that is at onceaboutagory.com. Thank you so much for all of your support this year. It has been so amazing to continue to have the shop and go to a couple new shows and meet so many more people who enjoy the yarn. So thank you so much for bringing us through one more year of doing this full time. Blows my mind. So with that, we are beyond crafting, which is everything we've been up to besides crafting, which has not been a lot because crafting. <laughs> It's mostly been wedding stuff. We've been doing vlogmas. So again, I'm going to keep this pretty short. I'm still working on Empire of Storms. It's hard to finish a book when you know how much the ending hurts, but I also don't want the series to end because we still have 74 days until Sarah J Moss's new book comes out. But I do really want to read The Vine Witch. So that's it. Also, I just don't want to stop reading these teeny tiny little Bible books. Uh, we've just been watching Criminal Minds. Uh, we hung out with a couple friends this week. We did a little makeup knit group party at a Mexican place, which was everything I needed and more. Uh, I did a ladies night with wine and cheese and puppy playing last night. <sighs> so good. We are getting Isaac, the puppy daddy, on Sunday. We're gonna have him for, I think, oh, one full week, seven days. I think we're getting him for seven days. So he will be with us next week for Christmas, which we've done before, and it's always a delight. He's such a grumpy old man, and I love him so much. <laughs> so that is super exciting. We've just been cleaning and kind of getting ready for Christmas, and we put a rule down that no wedding talk for next, between Christmas and New Year's, which I think is a good idea. And I'm very excited for that. With that, I will let you go. I've got a couple of the things I have to do before before I go on my holiday break. So thank you so much for watching, uh, supporting the shop, supporting the podcast, and we will see you soon. I don't know if I'm going to do an update next week. We'll see. By an update, I mean a podcast. It'll be a surprise for everyone. Okay. Thank you so much. Goodbye.